everyone welcome to fashion for you today I'm going to make a tutorial on box pleated skirt you can make this skirt for yourself or for children's too this skirt is very easy to make and it will hardly take about two to three hours first we'll go through measurement detail box pleated skirt is high waist this is purely based on my observation there is no fact for that but still it's up to you you want it high waist or low waist so take your waist measurement and then from that line take straight down measurement that will be your length I have taken 2 yards of fabric because the width of this fabric is 54 inches that's why I will make it along grain side I will not make it along selvage side I mean by this if my fabric is like this so I will fold it like this along selvages and then after it become 2 layers belt will come here that means selvages would be along lengthwise if you get normal width fabric that is 44 inches width then you have to take 3 yards of fabric and you can make it along selvage side. In that case again fold the fabric along selvages but belt will come on one selvage and hemline will come on second selvage. Now I will quickly set up my fabric as I have told you. This is selvage. I will take around 5 inches of fabric for belt because I have only 2 yards of fabric. So I will cut a strip of 5 inches so that when I will fold it, it will become of 2 inches and half an inch for seam allowance. is ready length of your skirt reduce one inch from that because two inches belt we are going to add on the top and one inch seam allowance for the hemline at the bottom side measure that length here these are four layers of fabric because two layers of fabric would be quite long to be put on the table so take half of that length to be measured here for me it comes out to be exactly same length so I'll just trim out the fabric so that it would be a straight line as I told you these are four layers of fabric so I'll separate out two pieces here cut belt for belt whatever is your waist measurement add two and a half inches one inch for the seam allowance and one and a half inch for hook and then cut it that's the end of cutting part now we'll start stitching the first step of stitching is to make pleats to make pleats we have to keep in mind that the length of it after making pleats should come around half of the belt. I'll do it panel by panel. First I'll take one panel and I'll take inch tape. Start making marks on 2 inches. Before starting to make pleats leave half an inch for the seam allowance. I forget to take half an inch here so I have to adjust it later. If you are making this for a small kit then you can take it 1 inch or even less than that. The darker. First I will make 6 marks. Then I will start making pleats now. Take second mark and match it with fourth mark. Mark will come inside and in the middle. Then take sixth mark and match it with fourth mark. After that you will get this kind of pleat. Now 
I'll secure it with the help of pins. And now I'll continue making these kind of pleats. I'll also use a few pins in the front part to secure these pleats. Luckily the length of this is same as the belt. If not then you have to readjust the pleats. This last pleat is not complete so for the second panel I will start making the pleats which could be adjusted here. So if I will join this like this. So I have to make a pleat this way. If you have difficulty doing this, so you can stitch both the panels from one side before making the pleats. Similarly, like front panel, I'll start marking points for the back panel. Here in the starting I'll make a pleat like this because I'll join this with the front panel. And then I'll continue making pleats. Pleats part is done. I'll stitch both the panels from one side. I'll first stitch it through one side. Here on the top I will make a temporary stitch line. I will remove all pins now. I'll now take my belt and first make it ready. I'll take 2 inches broad stiffener and I'll stick it on this belt with the help of iron. Leave half an inch on one side and then I'll stick it. This half inch fabric which I have left before this I'll fold inside and I'll use iron. Now I'll stitch belt to the skirt from other end. I mean other end of the belt. And from wrong side of the skirt. Now turn the belt to the right side and make a stitch line.
belt is nicely attached to the skirt from both the sides. Now I'll double it like this and I'll leave around 6 inches for the zipper and I will stitch it till hemline. I'm gonna attach zipper here now. Zipper will come like this. So I will turn it and I will stitch it like this. So that after stitching, when I'll turn it, this will come to the right side. Now, I'll stitch other side of the zipper with other side of the skirt. Here on the top part, I will not stitch it with the belt. I will keep a side belt and stitch it like this. Turn the zipper like this and lock it inside the belt now. Don't stitch it completely, just to lock here. I'll use zigzag stitch on the other side with zipper and fabric. Now, after attaching zip, I'll attach a hook over here. You have to get a hook like this. This is mostly used in gents trousers. You can easily fix this. Take the inner layer of belt and just fix it there. On the other side of the belt, you have to attach hook. Just check where you have to attach the hook and fix it there. Hook is attached now. Now I'll make a stitch line over here. Now I'll make a hemline here on the down part. I've made here a hemline for around half an inch. So with this my box split skirt is ready. If you have any further query you can write to me on my Facebook page or on my email. I'm there to help you. If you like this video please give me thumbs up. To watch more videos in future don't forget to hit subscribe button. I will be there with a new video soon. Bye bye.